All right, so if you're a student and your teacher has borrowed the, the iPads and you'd like to be able to work on uh, something in uh, Pages or any other program and you want to save it for later, uh, there are a couple ways to do this. Um, so let's say I'm working in Pages and I've created a very important document and I'd like to save it uh, to my Google Drive so that I can open it up on any MacBook or any other iPad. So once I'm done working on it, I can push the wrench at the top right hand side and I can say share and print. I can say open in another app. And uh, if I want to be able to edit it later, it's important that I choose a pages document. A PDF is not editable. Uh, a Word document is, the trouble with saving it as a Word document is it's going to lose some formatting in the uh, transition. So just choose pages for now and it's going to create that document for you. Uh, the next thing it wants you to do is choose the app to open it, it in. So we're going to say choose app and we're going to choose uh, open in Google Drive. Now, at this point you might have to sign into Google Drive if you haven't already, but you could, up, um, you could uh, sign into Google Drive before you go to save. So uh, it, it says, hey, do you want to upload this? I'm going to just say upload and then it begins to upload to my Google Drive for me. Uh, and when it's done, I can go ahead and look under the recent documents to look for it here. So let's see, where is it? It was called, uh, there it is there. Uh, re these are my recent uploads. So the next time I come to, my, um, to any iPad or any computer, I can look for the one called blank2 dot pages and uh, I can open that up so let me just skim down let's pretend I just showed up here there it is blank two dot pages I can go ahead and click on that document it's gonna say I don't know what to do with this but at this point uh, there at the top right hand side there's a little um, box a square with an arrow jumping out of it that means open in another app so I can say open in pages it's gonna take me to pages and it's importing the document right here I can go ahead and click on that and keep working on it. So that's how you can take something from just about any app, Pages, Keynote, just about any app on here, and save it to Google Drive to open it again later. Of course, when you're done using Google Drive on the iPad, you should probably sign out uh, so that the next person to use the iPad doesn't have access to your Google Drive, so you can just switch to that app, click the gear at the bottom left, and then choose Sign Out. And then, yes, sign out.